A recent report finds that over 86% of buyers still agree that home ownership is part of the American dream. Prior to the 1950s, less than half of the country owned their home. But after World War II, many returning veterans used the GI Bill to purchase a house. Since then, the percentage of homeowners throughout the country has increased to the current rate of just over 65%. That strong desire for home ownership has kept home values appreciating ever since. Hey, it's Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and I want you to take a look at this graph of home price appreciation since World War II. The trend is almost straight up with the exception of the housing bust 2007 and 2008. Some people believe that because the recent spike in prices since COVID looks similar to the spike that we saw before the last crash, that we're about to see a similar fall in home values as we did when the bubble burst. But let's look at what happened last time and what's happening today. Back in 2006, foreclosures flooded the market and drove down home values dramatically. The two main reasons for the flood of foreclosures were that one, many purchasers were not truly qualified for the mortgage they obtained, which led to more homes turning into foreclosures, and two, homeowners were taking all the equity out of their homes to buy other things and fund their lifestyles. When prices dropped, they found that the home was worth less than what they owed on the house. Many of these homeowners walked away from their homes, which led to more foreclosures. The spiral went on for a while. But here are reasons why today's market is nothing like the one we experienced 15 years ago. Reason one, demand today for home ownership is real. Running up to 2006, it was impossible not to get a mortgage with extremely loose lending standards and things like no document loans and stated income loans. Basically, if you were breathing, you could get a mortgage or refinance your home. They didn't do a great job of checking to see if you could actually repay that mortgage, which led to mass defaults, foreclosures, and then falling prices. Today's purchasers and those refinancing their homes face much higher standards from mortgage companies. Today, the demand for home ownership is real. It's generated by a reevaluation of the importance of home due to the pandemic. There's certainly a bit of FOMO from buyers in the market who want to ride the price appreciation wave, to be fair, but lending standards are much stricter now. Buyers can afford the mortgage they're taking on. And if you're worried about the number of people still in forbearance, you should know there's no risk of that causing an upheaval in the market today. There won't be a ton of foreclosures. Reason number two, people are not using their homes like ATMs like they did in the early 2000s. When prices were rapidly escalating in the early 2000s, many thought it would never end. They started to borrow against the equity in their homes to finance new cars, boats, and vacations. When prices started to fall, many of these homeowners were underwater, leading some to abandon the homes which increased the number of foreclosures. A recent study by real estate research firm Black Knight reports that tappable equity, which is the amount of equity available to homeowners to access before hitting the maximum of 80% loan to value, that's more than doubled compared to 2006. In 2006, it was 4.6 trillion compared to 9.9 trillion now. The latest homeowner equity insights report from real estate research firm CoreLogic reveals that the average Florida homeowner gained almost $75,000 in home equity over the past year alone. Did you know that 41.9% of all homes that do have a mortgage have at least 50% equity? So even if home prices do fall, because there's so much equity in people's homes, we're not gonna have anywhere near as many homeowners that are underwater. Lastly, after the last crash, we didn't have anywhere near as many hedge funds and institutional investors buying up single family homes to rent out to people. Even if home prices do come down, those investors are gonna buy up a lot of these homes, which is gonna stabilize the market. The bottom line is that the major reason for the housing crash 15 years ago was a tsunami of foreclosures. With much stricter mortgage standards and a historic level of homeowner equity, the fear of massive foreclosures impacting today's market is really not realistic. 